actually have a trampoline. Do you guys? Yeah. I, We're getting a new one. I wish I had a trampoline. My trampoline. nephew kind of like has a trampoline. I did a backflip off it, and then my sister told me I was too heavy for the trampoline, and that was a big, that was like a few months ago. That was a sad moment. Yeah, but he gets it on. Actually, um, just so you know, trampolines are, this is what I, trampolines are the best. Yeah, there's a, at the WWE Performance Center, they've got a lot of different rings. And one of the rings they have is a bouncy ring for you to practice, I guess, dives or top rope stuff. But uh, it's pretty amazing. I don't even know how you can build I something like that. What is, what is one life goal you will accomplish that is not related to wrestling? One life goal? Oh, cool. Not related to wrestling. I don't know. My whole life is kind of related to wrestling. That's a tough one. That is a tough question. I had briefly, I, I had briefly discussed running for state senate in Texas, and even though that's not right on the books at the moment, that is something I'm very interested in being being able to help folks with whatever little bit of fame or whatever kind of accrued equity. I don't know. Uh, being able to help people in, in this modern society, especially moving into a modern, progressive society. So that's one thing, not related to wrestling. State Senate run, maybe a U.S. Senate run. Now I'm reaching a little bit, but hey, whatever. What is the hardest thing about the cars travel? The hardest thing? Ooh. I always, I, I kind of was, I feel like I'm built for it, because I've been doing it since I was 19. Uh, and then when WWE is on the road a lot more, um, and I'm, I'm on the road with my uh, wife, so that's really great. It would be hard to get away from her, like today is even hard. Um, I think just uh, getting, getting used to getting your wings when you can, sleeping on the planes. Uh, just early mornings at the airport, but it's all kind of fun if you think about where you're going. You get to come to a place like this. You get to do an interview like this. Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool job to have. It's kind of a silly thing to get paid for. Any travel tips? Oh, I got lots of travel tips. Oh, I got lots of travel tips. The number one motto I have though in travel is keep moving forward, and I really mean that. And here's another little travel tip for you. Always get in the priority line, even if you don't have priority. They don't know. And if they go to check in, you don't have priority, say, oh, I was thinking about upgrading. Always get in the priority line. So get all your points. Get your points. You guys got it? Get your points. We, we don't really travel by airplane. We literally just go You might, though. You might start. Yeah, Take the show on the road, you know? Uh, do you have room for 10 more pounds of luggage? For the NWA title? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's exactly. Yeah, that's. It. That's the. That our dad just told us that. Yeah, that's the only match technically announced for All In. And now that you mention it, it is. I am very curious to see if it would actually weigh ten pounds. You know, you put it in your gear bag, you put it on scale, and take it out and see. I wonder if it's all alive. But it's got to be ten pounds. When I was a little kid. Because my dad had the NWA World title. I used to sit, he had one gifted to him that was in a case, and I used to sit and look at it. And I always wanted to break it out and play with his belt, but that was one I could never get out. So, so even more motivation to, to win the September 1st at all in. I'll let you know. I definitely have the room, for sure. Favorite pie? Oh, that's a great question. And a unique question. I actually think I saw this exchange on Twitter. JR is great, huh? Uh, favorite pie. I feel like this is kind of a weak choice in the pie pie genre, but key lime? I like key lime pie. And then banana cream pie. My dad was huge into pies. There used to be this place in uh, the, the hill country of Texas called the Blue Bonnet Cafe. And he would just go for the pies. And it was like 40 minutes away from my sister's house. It was a whole to do. But he would just go for the pies and get like three pies. Now, yeah. now that I think of it, I think he actually sent it because he knew about that. Yeah, they, because they were, real, they, were, they were buddies. They were friends, other than when it came to when Oklahoma would play Texas. But they probably had a lot of pies. Blueberry. Apple, cherry, banana. I, I think Jim Ross actually said that because he knew, he knew. that he, he just knew. What's your favorite pie? I actually don't know. I, I don't really 
we eat pies? Yeah, you gotta figure it out though. You know there's a place in Maui that makes these little mini pies? Oh, that, those are really good, the mini pies. He also wants us to ask him, do you want to eat Austin Hall Boots? They're beautiful and don't know if you need to bring what Austin Hall Boots. Oh yeah, Austin Hall Boots were the, uh, the boots that Dusty, Barry Windham, Sam Houston, Dustin, a ton of cowboy wrestlers wore. They were basically cowboy boots, but the soles, they'd taken the heel away and they flattened the sole and they had an eagle on it. And my Tron, the Ring of Honor, has the Austin Hall Eagle, and most people don't have a clue that that's the Austin Hall Eagle. That's what it is. And I have a pair of his, and I have a pair of mine. They don't look as good on me as they did him. He had massive calves that I did not inherit. Um, but yeah, I got a pair. I got two pairs. And, uh, they're uh, they're very special to me. The boots that his uh, Triple H made his statue for the Dusty Classic. He molded my dad's actual Austin Halls for them, so you can see the eagle on the side. Attention to detail. Uh, what's your favorite move? Oh, Best favorite. Move. Oh, favorite wrestling move. Mm -hmm. Probably something that I can't do. Oh, Spanish fly. I really like the Spanish fly. I'm too chicken to do it, but basically you get in like kind of a like a rock bottom position when you do a back flip with the guy here. Yeah, very cool. I bet you Michael Blaze can do it. He can do a lot of stuff. He does a 630. Yeah. No, Spanish fly. Is it true that you like Harry Potter? Love it. Love it. Yeah. Read all the books, watched all the movies. I'm reading the Goblin of Fire. Ooh. Absolutely the best one in terms of, to me, and so many people say like the book is so stout versus what you got in film form. It's my favorite movie. It's kind of confusing since like in the book it goes one way and then in the movie it goes another way. A little bit. They, that's right around the time they start to take some creative liberties, but I love. And I think they think it's just about how like the characters grow and they don't know. Because actually, my mom told me that oh, yeah, it's a bit of a fact. Did you, uh, do you have a house that you guys would be in if you got sorted? No, I, I would choose Gryffindor. You would just choose and it? There is actually a Harry Potter, like, after you can go into yeah. the house. Yeah. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm a... You're I, I don't have it. I don't really, I don't like, I, I, I'm not trying to be like, I'm not, I, I'm... like a Gryffindor. I, I don't, I don't really like Harry Potter. It's okay. We like that. I, I, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, the whole thing is loyalty. And that's like real broad strokes. There's a bazillion other character traits, but like Gryffindor is bravery, and Slytherin's ambition, I think Ravenclaw is like wit, and then Hufflepuff is loyalty. And uh, I'm sure there's a Potter fan who's not going to like my take on it, but I'm a Hufflepuff. Do you need YouTube comments? Correspondence for all? Maybe. Are you offering your services? Yes, well, we are all. You're on the short list then, bud, because no one else has offered their services, so the short list is just you two. Yeah, you guys are off school. Yeah, see? Yeah. Good work out. You okay getting on a flight? Yeah. I gotta call, you're, I, I gotta call the other Massies. I gotta call Matt and Nick, see what they think, but I bet you they like it. No one else is offered. You guys work cheap. Cheap? We're already over nothing. budget, so. I work nothing. Don't, oh, don't say that. I always say you work for something. Don't worry. What do you do in your spare time? Hang out with Brandy Farrow, bowl every now and then. Pretty decent bowler. Pretty decent. Huh? Uh, do you have a lucky number? Yep.
there. Whenever I hear Vince wrestling, Vince would plan it. Yeah, of course. He's the boss. He's the face that runs the place. I don't think he's ever called himself that. Thank you. Anything else you would like to tell us? No, other than you guys did a great job. This was a much more thorough interview than I was anticipating. You guys did a great job. Surprisingly, it went very fast. Yeah, you guys nailed it. You, you nailed it. And we'll have to make them. Thank you. You guys did great. We'll have to make sure uh, Mick Foley gets the message. I mean, we're telling him now. But. Hopefully he watches this video and he understands how great they are. And Regina? And a friend can vouch for us. I'm the friend, Mick. I'm the friend. And I can vouch for him. It's the only interview I did. I actually was supposed to do two more, but I totally blew him off to do this one. Legitimately. So you have to do it, Mick. They're both wonderful. These kids are cool and they had a ton of swag. I got a fuck. I got a fuck from this interview. Best interview ever. Thank you guys very much. He is the American Nightmare! 